A few years ago, the great Joe Ely recorded this song that I wrote. And then more recently, the Highwaymen. <laughs> Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Chris Christopherson. They recorded it and put it on their record. And I was so happy because, man, it was a nice thing. But I always felt that Willie Nelson might help me out sometime because I went to his second picnic, the Willie Nelson Fourth of July picnic. I went to the second one. I was living in Houston, I had a date. It was my first date ever. I was about 27 years old. And we got in my old car and we drove up there to Texas World Speedway just south of College Station. I don't want no fights now. Oh yeah, and it was the back in the days of free love and and wonderful, happy, shiny people. Everything was fun. Nothing was scary or dangerous. And we went there and we had a wonderful time in the Willie Way. And I had so much fun that in the afternoon I had to take a nap. And I woke up from my nap and there was a man Speaking over the PA system, he said that we've had a fire in the parking lot and about 40 cars have burned up. And everybody, you know, in the land of free love in that time, in that wonderful time of free love and things, when they heard that, they went, oh. 10,000 of them at one time, oh. And then he said, then he said, we have some license plates of the cars, and the first winner is RHP-997. Now, you might wonder why I remember that so well. And I woke up out of my haze, and I said, that's my car, man. And in the time of free love and happiness, everyone said, Wow, way to go. And they started clapping for me. And I ran out there, and there was not enough of my car left to carbon 14 date. And I sat down on the grass, on the burnt grass, on the black burnt dirt and grass. And I can admit this now, I wept. I cried big old giant tears. And, and my girlfriend was laughing, my date, I mean. She was laughing, I said, what are you laughing about? We don't have a ride. And she says, I do. And it was then she introduced me to Tarzan and Adonis who were terminally tan and they were wearing loincloths. And they said, we'll take care of her, man. And because it was that wonderful time, I said, thanks, dude. And they skipped gleefully away. And a man from the festival came up to me while I was still crying and he said, well, the least we could do is let you meet Willie. Yeah. So they took me backstage and I went to Willie's bus and they opened the door and lo and behold, Willie came out, pigtails and all. Yeah. And he shook my hand and he said that he was sorry, he would like to visit with me, but he had to go jam with Leon Russell. And then some 20 years later, 
The road goes on forever.